Hello guys, welcome to UnQA. In this session, we are going to talk about the most important concepts of Agile and Scrum methodology. In the previous session, we have discussed about the introduction and the basics about the Zira. Now, before we proceed and understand in detail all about the Zira and Zira implementation, the Zira functionality, we need to understand what is Agile and what is Scrum implementation. And then we could be able to easily understand how Jira can help us to make use the project management with a, with a Agile and Scrum implementation. So let's go and talk about in detail the Agile and Scrum methodologies. So let's get started. So this is what we have talked about in the previous session where we understood what exactly is Zira? So Zira is an issue tracker and Zira is a flexible project management tool. It's a web-based tool and it is also available on server side. It's an open source and again it is also available at the license type and then it helps us to track down each and every implementation that we can do with respect to the project management. And everything in Zira is known to be issue. When I say issue, it can be a requirement, it can be a story, it can be epic, it can be a task, it can be a subtask, it can be a defect, it can be any activity that needs to be done for a project. And we clearly understand the concepts of Zira. Now, let's go and see and learn about what is Agile, what is Scrum, and what are the teams required, and how do we do that Agile management? And do we have any tools? So what are the tools required? And where do we use the Agile management process implementation? So all the questions with respect to the double-edged forms of the Agile and Scrum, let's go and learn step by step. So we would see what is Agile, what is Scrum, and we would see why do we need the Agile project management? And who are part of the Scrum teams? And then we would understand where do we manage the software projects in Agile. So what tools are required? And then we would talk about how do we use the Zira for the defect tracking or the Agile Scum projects implementation. And then we understand how to go ahead and understand all about the Scrum implementations with regards to the Zira project management. So this is the intention. So let's go and learn in detail now. So what is Agile and why do we need Agile? So let me explain you. The Agile project management is an iterative and interactive approach. I repeat, the Agile project management is an iterative and interactive approach that could help us to manage the software development project. I repeat, the Agile project management is an iterative and interactive approach that helps us to manage the software development project. And Agile project management also focuses on the continuous interactions or the continuous releases. The Agile focuses on the continuous releases and then it seeks the customer feedback in each and every cycle that it can be released. That's what we call Agile project management can be done in shorter cycles because it focuses on continuous releases in a shorter span of releases by seeking the customer feedback on each and every iteration that the project is delivered. And to talk about the Agile can be done or implemented in two framework. The Agile project management can be done or implemented in two frameworks. One, the Scrum methodology. The second one is the Kanban methodology. So what is a Scrum? So Scrum is focused on the fixed project interactions. The Scrum is focused on the fixed length project iterations. What is that meaning? Example, in a software development life cycle, the project's life cycle is fixed, maybe six months, maybe nine months, maybe one year, maybe two years, maybe three years. 
so the life cycle is fixed so scrum is intended or it is focused on fixed length project iterations whereas the kanban is focused on the continuous releases there is no fixed length it keeps on continuing what kind of projects come into kanban example the call centers the call center is not a fixed length project and the and the system support or the customer support it's continuous lifelong the support should be there and there is no fixed length in that project implementation so scrum comes into picture for software development projects for a fixed length project iteration implementation whereas the kanban comes into picture for non software related project where the support the call centers the customer support where it is focused on the continuous releases and each and every cycle completion upon completion of each and every cycle the team moves on to the next iteration so that is the agile project management so let me summarize the agile project management is an iterative and interactive approach that helps us to manage the software development project and this agile focuses on the continuous releases in a shorter cycles and seeks customer feedback on each and every iteration and release and traditionally the agile follows in two frameworks one in scrum methodology the other one is the kanban methodology what is scrum so scrum is a framework and scrum is focused on fixed length project iterations whereas kanban is focused on the continuous releases implementation and for each and every completion of the cycle the team focuses on the next implementation so that is all about the agile project management and now let's go and talk about the scrum methodology so what is a scrum as i said so scrum is a framework scrum is a methodology so that helps for the agile project management where we can use that for the fixed length iterations of work called sprints i repeat scrum is a framework or it's a methodology that we are going to use it for the agile project management when i say agile project management that we are going to make use of the fixed length of iterations for a projects to work and those fixed length iterations are called as the sprints and there are four different activities in a scrum the sprint planning the daily scrum the sprint to demo and the retrospective meeting so we will talk about what is sprint planning what is daily scrum what is sprint to demo and what is retrospective meeting in a while but at this point of time scrum is a framework or a methodology that can be used in the agile project management for a fixed length project iterations called sprints and this particular scrum has got four activities the scrum planning the sprint planning the daily scrum the sprint demo and the retrospective meeting so we will talk about more in detail and then everything in the sprint begins with the backlog and what is the backlog so backlog is the body of work or a task that needs to be done and the backlog can be divided or understood into two kinds one is the product backlog the second one is the sprint backlog so backlog is a body of work that can be segmented into two types the product backlog and the sprint backlog so what is a product backlog the product backlog is owned by the product and which is nothing but the major priorities list of the actual requirement and sprint backlog is driven or segmented from the product backlog so that it can be divided into multiple tasks or multiple items and again backlog is the actual body of work there are two backlogs available or two types product backlog and sprint backlog so we would talk about what is product backlog how do we do that and what is sprint backlog how do we do that in a while but at this point of time we're trying to understand what and why the agile project management and the scrum methodology and then to more understand in scrum there are teams available 
the first one is the scrum master in the scrum there are teams available the first member or the important member is called scrum master so scrum master is the champion who runs the business who runs the sprints who runs the show and the sprints and then the next one is the product owner product owner is the actual owner of the product or who's considered to be the voice of the product and then we have the scrum team the scrum team is the combination of both the developers and testers and the business teams so where we could decide divide conquer and work together on each and every segmentation for each and every cycle for each and every sprint along the completion of the project so scrum team is the combination of development team the qa team the project management team and the business team so we work together at the end the intention is to complete all the sprints for a project and then let's go and talk about how we can make use of zira in the scrum methodology since we understand scrum methodology scrum methodology is a framework that we can make use of for agile project management and in the scrum everything is divided into shorter cycles or shorter iterations called sprints in the sprint we have four activities sprint planning daily scrum sprint to demo and retrospective meeting and in that we have teams scrum master product owner scrum team and everything the project requirement is known to be the backlog and backlog can be two types the product backlog and sprint backlog the same methodology the same terminology the same implementation is mapped or can be done can be implemented with the agile methodology of zira if you look at the bottom there is a snap that explains how the things are progressed how the things are implemented with respect to zira the same thing whatsoever that we have talked about the scrum implementation the same thing can be done with the zira so practically we are going to visualize understand and learn about how this particular scrum methodology can be done practically implemented with respect to zira so that we would see in the later sessions and then to continue about there are four activities as i said the sprint planning the sprint planning is nothing but the team planning where we determine what to be completed for a coming sprint example we have sprint 1 so what are we doing in the sprint 1 we do the 10 requirements and we assign the requirements to each and every developer tester and then we plan we design we test we rectify we verify we certify and then we release the product so that is called sprint planning so sprint planning is a team planning where we discuss and determine what needs to be completed for the current sprint and the next one is daily scrum as the name says it's a known to be the stand of meeting which is obviously for 15 minutes where we discuss about what we do on the day the accomplishments what we required on the day the things that we required so this is all about the daily scrum it it is known to be the stand up call which needs to be done in 15 minute where we discuss about the things being done for today things which are to be done for today on the specific day on the scrum meeting and then the sprint to demo the sprint to demo is the time where we demonstrate on the product that we designed tested a sharing meeting where the team demonstrate on the product that we design and tested and once it is done we have called something the retrospective meeting so in the retrospective meeting it's a review meeting to discuss about what went well in that sprint and what did not go in that sprint so this is the way we understand how we did it and we also understand what we can do better in the next sprint so these are the four activities which are part of the sprint and which can be done similar way in the zira implementation and let's go who are required the product owner the scrum master and the scrum team the product owner is the actual owner of the product owner of the business or is also known to be the voice of the product and then we have scrum master 
the scrum master who runs the show or who is the champion who is going to take along the sprints with him and then we have scrum team the scrum team is the combination of dev the qa the business analyst the project management everybody needed to the project and we work as a team and we determine to test and we determine to deliver the quality product for that iteration so these are the three teams required now we understand what is agile we also understand what is a scrum so agile project management is an iterative and interactive approach that helps us to manage effectively the software development project and it focuses on the continuous releases in a shorter span called the sprints and there are two ways the agile can be implemented one the scrum methodology the second one is the kanban methodology so scrum is used for the fixed length products so especially for all the software development agile methodologies scrum is the implementation so scrum is a framework or a methodology that is used for the agile project management and we use that for fixed length iterations of work called as a sprint so by this time we understand all about the agile the scrum the teams the activities in a scrum and how we can do the similar structure the similar practical implementation with respect to zero so once we understand the agile the scrum methodology then that could help us to practically visualize and practically understand the zero functionality in the later sessions so thank you so much thanks for watching the video hope you liked it so please visit onq.com so let me summarize what we have discussed so far so in this session we concentrated and understood all about the agile and scrum and then we compared the agile and scrum implementation with respect to zira so what is agile so agile is a systematic project management and that can be done with two models or two frameworks the scrum and the kanban so we go with the scrum because all the software projects have got fixed length cycles so scrum methodology what is a scrum methodology scrum methodology is a framework or scrum is a framework that is suited for agile project management where we take shorter cycles called sprints and we plan we implement a design test and deliver the products in shorter cycles called sprints and there are teams involved in the scrum the product owner the scrum master and scrum team and there are four activities part of the scrum the sprint planning the daily scrum sprint to demo and retrospective meeting so we understand by this time all about the agile methodology all about the scrum methodology and how we could do the similarity with respect to the zero project management in the later sessions so thank you so much thanks for watching the video hope you liked it so please visit onq.com there are so many videos presentations articles so books and pdfs with respect to automation test management performance testing and functional testing so thank you so much and see you again Thank mm -hmm. you.